Uh, based on what I've heard you say today, if the Vegas Golden Knights and the NBA and the NHL decided to do this, say, days after the George Floyd incident, the video was released, from what I'm hearing from you, you wouldn't have had a problem with that, right? Well, I think, I think there have been things that have gone on uh, since the George Floyd incident that you haven't seen me say, how dare you here, how dare you there. Um, of course, I, I do still uh, stand by my officers across the country to say, we can't be vilified as a profession because of one or two or, or three different people. Right, exactly. Um, it, that, that's just not fair. It's not fair if a, if a player in the NFL... Well, and, and, and it's dangerous. Violence, it's dangerous it's, if the public thinks that police officers are out to get them nationwide, especially if they're one specific race. Yes, and, and listen, I've, I've been in the police department for over 22 years now. Uh, growing up, I, I played sports with every race uh, across the country or across the world. You know, it, that... Going to work as a police officer to me was more about helping people. I didn't care your skin color, sex, origin. I didn't care about any of it. Right. If you were a victim, I wanted to help you. Mm-hmm. If you were a bad guy preying on other people's property or lives, I, I wanted to make sure you couldn't keep doing that. And, and that's what most of our police officers do. I can't always say what's in the hearts of everybody. But to, to take an oath to potentially not go home at the end of the night just from your job, you have to have some love of protecting and helping people. 